So welcome back to everybody who's watching this. So I thought I would do a first impression video. This is, I think, the first kind of video, first impression as far as a product goes. But this product was so intriguing, so I wanted to show you what I got. Um, I don't know if y'all know Catherine McBroom, but... She came out with a skincare line, and I was, I was interested, okay? Just because she's like a very like natural, organic-y kind of girl, and I am too, or at least I try to be, but um, at the same time, I was actually in the market for some new skincare. I have some breakouts going on around my chin and it's always just right here and I get a lot of compliments on my skin I know hard to believe right no but I really do and um I just try to wash it as much as possible now I just got out the shower so normally I would be washing my face in the shower because I, I do at night um but I just wanted to do a little unboxing I'm not going to go into too much depth or detail on ingredients and all of that stuff. This is just like a first impression. If you want to read ingredients and all of that good stuff, honey, by all means, go to her website and do that. But I don't have time for it. I just want to like uh, test it out, basically. Um, so this is what the box looks like. I got the holiday kit. Um, I think it was $99. Um but they do have like full size products of it all. These I think are just like, uh, I don't know, like travel size or like a holiday kit. I, honestly, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. I think I was expecting like ginormous bottles, but these aren't the full size. I mean, come on, this was $99. Um, it comes with the Galaxy Foaming Cleanser. Um, and it says directions. Apply morning and evening to damp skin. Rinse with water. Um, this is 1.18 fluid ounces, 35 mLs. Um, this packaging, I will say, it is... <laughs> I think that's kind of what intrigued me in the first place and then like her good aura vibes. I mean, as you can see, like I, I'm so for the galaxy. And it, oh. I love it. I love it all. I love the purpley blue colors and this little like moon thingy that's going on and 12 12. I don't know what that is. I mean, I've only seen 11 11. So, I mean, honey, I guess 12 12 it is. Um, I'm gonna wash my face with this in the minute. And then, um, this isn't going to be like an ongoing, like, Oh, my skin in three days. Did it clear up? No, I'm not doing that because I can't commit to things, but um, I will say though that I did just put this, it's called the Sunray Beauty Oil. Um, this stuff. <laughs> okay, so I use bio oil every time I get out of the shower, just like on my stomach area. And if you have stretch marks and all that good stuff, like I swear by this stuff. I love it. I've used it for years. I buy these bottles. They're, they're super expensive though, but whatever, besides the point. Um, so I thought I would try this after my shower today. And I did. Um, and it's a, it's a, did I say it was a body oil? It's a beauty oil. I don't know, but this is not going on my face. It's going on my body because uh, the texture or like, I don't know. I'm going to show you real fast because I'm not going to like, I'm not gonna, uh, <laughs> this is weird. It's very liquidy. Like you can see it's already like running down. It is super liquidy, it's not thick. And um, it feels super good. I mean, like, I don't know, it absorbed into my skin like so much. Um, and honey, we're not wasting this, so. You know, um, but it, it just, absorbs really good like I don't know if you can tell oh, cool veins um I, I kind of like it I don't think I would use it for my hair either um but whatever um I think it's gonna be so good and I actually just put it like on the, my feet like um you know how right now it's winter time well it is here in Texas I don't know where y'all are at but um I put it like on the 
heels of my feet because that's where I get like the most dry, especially in the winter time. And we cannot have crusty feet. We just can't like, no girls, no, don't do that. Okay. Um, my phone not go on. Okay. This is what I was most excited for because I, this is the star seed eye cream. Again, I am not going to go into detail about what every ingredient is. I do know that it's like all natural and yada, yada, yada. And I could be here all night making this video, but I'm not going to do that. But I love a good eye cream, like love, love, love. Um, I'm 30 now, obviously, <laughs> but yeah, my, my crow's feet and my wrinkles, like we, we don't want that either. So this is like what I'm most excited to try the eye cream. Um, this is the lip balm. Now, as you can see, it's like super duper tiny. Um, it's 0.21 ounces. I'm fine with that. Like I don't want a ginormous, um, it doesn't smell like anything, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's cute. It's so cute. I could put this in my purse. Now, right now, I am super duper dehydrated. My body is dehydrated. My nails are dehydrated. My hair is dry. Um, I'm not drinking enough water. I'm constantly using my chapstick, which this is holy grail. Like, this isn't ever going away. Um, I keep one in, like, my purse, my desk, my car, everywhere. We're going to try that. I'm so excited. It's probably got, like, I don't want to lie to you about the ingredients, but whatever, you know. And then last but not least, we have the Meadow Flower Moisturizer. Uh, it looks like that. And again, it's, I think, the same 0.56 ounces. Okay, we're going to start off. I'm going to um, wrap my hair up real quick because um, it's already wet, but, like, who wants to get it more wet, you know? Um... I, I like hot water, but for my face and for the purpose of this video, I'm probably not going to use like super duper hot water. I'm going to just use like, I don't know, lukewarm or something. I don't know. I have a little towel right here too, so that I can, it says to put it on damp face. So and for the Karens out there, I'm leaving my water on because, well, you don't pay my bills, so. Okay, I'm going to shake this up just because I have a habit of shaking things up when I am like, when it's in bottle form, things tend to settle. This is my first time pumping this out, so I'm kind of scared. Oh, shite. It looks a lot like my Cetaphil moisturizer. Alright, so I'm going to just put like, I don't know. We're going to go ham with it. Okay, now I'll probably turn it off because that's kind of annoying to hear. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells very natural, like... Like a flower, not like a rose. But it's probably got to be like... One of the... I don't know. Flower seeds or whatever in this stuff. So I'm just rubbing it around. Um, it feels very soft, like it really does. So I'm gonna just rinse this off right now. I'm gonna try it in the morning. I'm actually traveling tomorrow and when I do travel, my face gets super duper oily and then with a mask, it's worse. Um, so I'm gonna try it in the morning in hopes that it doesn't like F up my face. Well the whole throughout the day and that my makeup stays on. That would be a different video, but um, I'm going to definitely wash my face with it in the mornings. I do like to wash. Pat dry method. Here we go. It rinsed off super good. I love it. Um, I honestly really like the way that it uh, smelt and the way it went on. It wasn't like a super like foaming or anything like that, but I, I like the way it went on and came back off. Um, I 
I'm just making sure that I get it all off. Um, so far so good. Like I said, I am in not any high hopes that this is going to clear like my acne up or anything. I don't have like cystic acne. I, I just have very oily skin and I like to wash it every morning and night and I do use an exfoliator on it or like a soft scrub on it. Um, okay. So regardless, I really do like the way that this came out, um, on my face and then while scrubbing it, it wasn't like super foaming and like super sudsy. It, it was really nice. Um, I mean, my skin feels like I just washed it. It feels a little bit dry and a little bit stiff, I guess. I'm not too sure. I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this moisturizer because I, I am headed to bed soon. So uh, I just kind of want to see. This doesn't have any fragrance either, which I love. I love when things aren't fragrant. Um, ooh, that looks kind of like a lot. I'm gonna use that much because I don't want, my hands are shaky, wow. Um, I think I can use a little bit more. Moisturizers kind of scare me, I'm not gonna lie, because they can be or leave your face super oily. This one's kind of thick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it kind of just like soaked up my skin. That's probably because it's like, honey, you need. I'm not putting a whole lot. Um, I'm so curious to see how I'm gonna wake up to see if it's going to be like oily in the morning or something. Uh, it feels a little thick. I'm not gonna lie. It feels. Uh, not oily, but just kind of sticky on my face. But I love that it's fragrant free. Like it doesn't have a smell to it. So I love that. Last thing that I'm going to try for my face is the eye cream. No smell. And I love that it has no smell. Oh, this feels really silky. So I'm just putting like a little bit like that under here. And everybody, when you're touching your eyes, you tend to go, I'm not gonna do that for aesthetics. Um, I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know if I'm applying any of this right. I've never had like a proactive or anything kind of like a skincare system I kind of just use what I use for years and it's always worked um, I will say that after I cleanse my face I like to tone it um, there's not a toner that I'm aware of but I like the feeling of a toner just to like make sure that my face is clean um, that feels really moisturizing for my under eyes and as you can tell, I have like dark circles. I'm not hoping that it gets rid of my under eyes and I, I've never really had bags. Um, but as far as just keeping that area gentle and clean and stuff, I, I think this is gonna be good. Last but not least, so that I'm not talking to you with crusty lips. Um, okay, lastly, because I Actually just got interrupted so if I don't cut these clips right ignore it um okay lastly I'm gonna do this lip balm because honey my lips are crusty and they have been like I said dehydration will do that I'm constantly like peeling them and I know it's kind of gross like dead skin but whatever um I showed this to y'all earlier it's super tiny and it's the marigold um, lip balm. Okay, cool. Can we focus? Um, it's a twisty cap. This doesn't smell like anything either. Huh. 
<sighs> okay, genius Regina. Who's the dummy? Wow. It had a cap on. God damn it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, now we can try it. I was literally scrubbing my lip like, why isn't this working? Oh no, this is going to be a negative and first impression. Okay, it's not. Let's see. Mmm, glides on. No flavor, no scent, but it feels silky. It feels really good. Um, I think I kind of put too much on because it does feel like a little cakey. Not cakey, but like a gunky. You know when you put too much of something? Um, I'm so curious to see how I'm going to wake up with this as well. Like, I'm curious. What if I wake up and I'm magically glowing and I look like these galaxy stars like that would be awesome okay um anyways i think for now that's going to be my first impression review thingy because i really i was excited honestly when i saw she was going to come out with that so i don't know if i'm gonna keep you all updated honestly just a little unboxing first impression i am impressed I'm definitely impressed, but I will say that my number one right now is this beauty oil. I really liked it, especially for coming out of the shower, and it just soaked right up into my skin. But that's going to be it for now. Um, you'll have to excuse the appearance. I know I always say that, but I just got out the shower, and I'm getting ready for bed. And I'll be traveling tomorrow, so I really need to go. But anyways, if you stayed for this long, I don't know how many minutes this is, but if you stayed for this long, I try to make it as short and sweet as possible. Thank you, and I do appreciate ya. Bye!